Dr. Nightlight coming at you talking about 360 cameras that are coming out. You're going to see a bunch of them probably come out this year because Oculus Rift and VR headsets are going to be dropping this year and you know, uh, I don't believe people understand how big of a thing this is going to be and it's going to be a revolutionary time and not only video, video capture, but how we view things on the internet. Uh, just in the general world to be honest, but that's a whole different story. Uh, I'm going to talk about there's two cameras that are out right now, and I can't find too much information on them. So what I want to do is just kind of break it down very shortly for anyone who is looking at any of these cameras. Uh, two I'm comparing today is going to be the 360 Fly Cam, which is what the clip that we are watching the opening of, and the Ricoh Theta S. I think that's how you say it. Ricoh, Ricoh, whatever. Uh, I'd never heard of the company Rico, so I stayed away from that camera at first. And I went with uh, the 360 cam. Uh, it looked something a little bit more, it had a longer battery time. Well, let me just go into the positives and negatives and what brought me to the conclusion of going with the 360 cam at first. Uh, I, I found it, of course. It was right there in front of me while I was looking at other things. I had looked at it in the past few months, but I saw the price at buying 360 cameras or making several cameras fit together with 3D printed parts and stitching it together which looked great but the price point and the idea was a little bit out of my range at that time but when I see a product that's all in one uh, I, I was very willing to give it a try and I kind of wanted to put my information out there too knocking it as hard as I did and putting it through the ringer with the job that I had I had a lot of opportunities to test things out so let's go over the pros and cons of just the 360 camera uh, I really like the design uh, it's very it's all inclusive inside of it it's all contained the the battery and the memory 32 gigs of memory and it had like a two hour lifespan on it, it had a very good lifespan on it and uh Something that concerned me is how it locks into position. There's a big magnet on the bottom. So they wanted the strongest magnet possible, but, you know, to hold it secure. But it's right beside the memory also, which is what concerned me when I thought about it at first. But so whatever, That's we're still on the pros about this. Uh, it's all together. It's all one thing. Uh, it's, it was very easy to set up and get going. Uh, just pretty straightforward. Uh, I really don't know too many other pros about it besides the fact that it is just one camera. It's not multiple cameras, but it's also, I think that's a bigger negative than it is positive. But I guess we'll get that here, here in a second. Without really much else being said about positives, I want to move on to the big list on negatives on this camera. It has to be understood and, you know, new type of cameras hitting the market and whatnot. But uh, uh, in no particular order, the first thing is I had trouble pulling the information out of the camera. The only time I was very successful with getting video out there, which I will link in the description some of the videos I got out of the 360 camera, some uh, you know some decent demos of how it is and the quality of it, whatnot. But uh, I couldn't get the information out. I had to do everything via Bluetooth. It took forever. It killed my battery. Pain in the ass, to be honest. And also, the editor on the app, not the computer app, but the mobile app, only limited you to two minutes of footage and editing at a time. So, it's a huge holdback. You know, I, I felt very limited with two hours of record time only two minutes of snippet time it was it didn't really make a lot of sense uh, the camera itself was great in theory it the designs great but that dead space on the bottom as you can see in the demo videos that I will link the dead space in the bottom just kills me it doesn't allow you to do anything with it it's stuck with that singular texture that is right there just that weird you know, triangle design, you can't change it or whatever, or it doesn't reflect the colors that is in the rest of the video. It's just always black, and it's always, 
there. Very immersion breaking in my opinion. Um, while it did have good view time on it and the live viewer itself was really cool how fast it was and and how well it, it just did in general if your phone screen went off for whatever reason uh, even if it didn't go into sleep mode but the screen just went off to save power it just loses all any type of connection and it doesn't you know pop back after a second I'd always have to reset the device and at one time when I was trying to record a dance group it did this while I'm trying to do the lights and do a few other things at the same time and it was just kind of a headache uh, with that being said I had an awesome opportunity with this dance group to put the 360 camera right in this beautiful spot and I had the crowd and the crowd gathered up to them. And it was a good hour-long capture that I did of this camera being in the perfect position. And it, it was just going to be amazing. And it was my first time to capture more than five or six minutes at a time. And I took it back home. The download via Bluetooth would not work. The file was too large. It broke it down into segments, but since that segment was 10 minutes or whatever, it, it would not download via Bluetooth. It just it had trouble pulling the information, and it worked on every other file except for the one that I did long, and it broke down into multiple segments. So just couldn't handle it. Tried it on multiple Bluetooths, multiple devices, nothing ever worked. So when I started having troubles and I really wanted to get this footage out, I reached out to the team. The team was very helpful at 360 Flycam, but I felt like a beta tester. I probably went through about like 10 or 15 emails with them. To no avail was I able to get this footage out. I finally got my computer to recognize the device. They blamed it on the USB cable that came with it. And the only cable that made the device work with my computer which I've never had that problem with any device before, was an Android cable, a cable that I specifically got with my phone, my Android phone, and they say they do not support Android devices or Android tablets. And uh, I, I thought that was a crazy, that's what they blamed it on, a USB cable. But I finally did find a cable that made it work, and to no avail, uh, you know, no difference, it didn't matter. It still couldn't pull the information into the editor to convert it. I got the files onto my computer. I still have them because I still want to use them. But, you know, it, 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 they said they were corrupted. Like once I try to convert the file, it just automatically puts it as unregistered or corrupted or something. I, I don't remember. It's been a minute since I looked at it. But, uh, you know, huge disappointment at that point when I kept on reaching out to the support team at 360 Flycam, which again, great team. Hopefully they get stuff together and make this product work. But uh, after about 10 steps into trying different things, they wanted me to down download programs that, you know, may or may not have anything to do with it. But it, it, it was, they were asking way too much of me as being a customer and not a beta tester for them. So good luck to them. But let's move on to the, the Rico Theta S. Uh, let me tell you right off the bat, I received this camera on a horrible day. I had f uh, drove out to a far location to do some aerial drone footage, and I forgot my main memory card. Uh, and you know everything else wasn't going to be big enough for the 4K footage I was getting that day. Got really frustrated, but when I came back to the house it had uh, it had arrived and so not being trying not to be frustrated I opened the boxes looked at it that's the reason I don't have a unboxing video of this itself and it was powered up had a full battery on it right off the get-go uh, the bottom container or the bottom fitting is this exact you know regular DSLR camera mount so I have like five tripods that will f fit onto it and I took that thing right with me. It was easy to take a picture. It was easy to start the movie off. You know, it was just straight up forward. Without breaking open the manual, I took it home 
and I was able to pull that footage off. Google Theta S editor, it brought it right to me, downloaded the program with no problem. Footage converted the first time I tried to pull it on. Now, I couldn't convert the footage while it was on my memory card. I had to take it off of my memory card and put it on my hard drive for it to actually convert it, which, you know, that's understandable. You know, the connection I have to my memory card, it's not the fastest of memory cards, so it was a struggling with that. But after that, there wasn't a problem. It allowed me to take these files, which are actually uh, understandable by normal video editing programs and edit it and mess around with it and so I'll link a little demo that I did with some 360 injected footage into YouTube with the Rico uh, Theta S I haven't taken it on too many crazy things I got a few ideas but the venue where I work at hasn't really had a lot of cool shows and I haven't had too much time to mess with it but uh I, I really haven't had to. I know it's a product that I'm going to keep. It works well. It has way less memory than the 360 fly cam, and it has way less battery time, but I don't care because it works, and that's what matters. And there's next to no dead space. That's a huge thing. So I can throw it in my editor, and there's no dead space. Those two facts alone is what made me stick with the Theta S. So hopefully I'll have some more footage for you guys and some cool 360 videos. Uh, thanks for listening to my rant. Uh, you know, Subscribe, like this video. And this is Dr. Nightlight and I'm out. Happy recording.